Good morning and welcome to Math Memo. In this video we'll be going through 1959 IMO problem number 3. A, B and C are real numbers and we are presented with a quadratic equation in cos x. We're asked to use the numbers A, B, C to form a quadratic equation in cos 2x with the same roots. And we're asked to compare the equations for a particular set of values for A, B and C. We would like to acknowledge the art of problem solving for the backbone of the solution and we hope that this video takes you through a more step-by-step -step approach. So first, we want to link cos x with cos 2 of x, which we can do using the double angle formula, which states that cos of 2x is equal to 2 cos squared of x minus 1. Tidying up the original equation a bit, let's let y is equal to 2 cos of x. This will um, make it a bit easier to work with so that our original equation is now ay squared plus by plus c is equal to zero. And let's let the roots of this original equation be y equal m and n. Let's recall also the um, form of the quadratic equation in terms of its roots, a x minus p x minus q where p and q are the roots of the polynomial. So this expands to ax squared minus ap plus qx plus apq. Now, let's match coefficients of the um, original equation, ay squared plus by plus c, with the, um, the ax squared minus ap plus qx plus apq. So b would be equal to minus a p plus q as the co coefficient of y and x respectively. And c would be able, equal to a p q, which are the constants of the two polynomials. And of course, p and q are the roots, as m and n are the roots. What we want is an equation of the form a tilde z squared plus b tilde z plus c tilde equal to zero, where z is equal to cos of 2x. And also, let's remember that the condition on this equation is that the roots ought to be the same as the roots of the original equation. Let's remember that cos of 2x is equal to 2 cos squared of x minus 1, and the roots cos x of the original equation are m and n. So the two z's, the z1, z2, would be 2m squared minus 1 and 2n squared minus 1. Let's continue. We would like to match the a tilde, b tilde, and c tilde with um, the, the coefficients. So let's set a squared is equal to a. Then b squared, using b is equal to minus a p plus q, would be minus a tilde 2m squared minus 1 plus 2n squared minus 1 because z1 and z2 are p and q, are the um, roots of the equations. And a tilde is equal to a, and c tilde is equal to a 2m squared minus 1, 2n squared minus 1, which is equal to a z1, z2, which is a p q. Now, um, expanding it out and um, tidying it a little bit, we'll have b tilde is equal to 2, 1 minus m squared minus n squared. Um, and, and of course, let's not forget the a. And c tilde is equal to 4m squared n squared minus 2, m plus n or squared plus 1 and yeah just adding the a back in for b tilde and c tilde. We now have a tilde, b tilde and c tilde which are the coefficients of our target equation in terms of m and n but really we want it in m and n in terms of a, b and c because we want the coefficients of the target equation in terms of a, b and c as per our requirement. We know that b, a, b and c are the coefficients of our original equation and m and n are the roots of our original equation. So we can use the sum and product of roots rule. m plus n equals minus b on a and mn equals c on a. 
Recall that B tilde is equal to 2A, 1 minus M squared minus N squared. Um, what we want to do is add in a minus 2MN and then add back a plus 2MN because this allows us to rewrite M squared minus N squared minus 2MN as M plus N all squared. So now that's the sum of roots and 2mn is a product of roots. So now we're ready to substitute um, a, b, and c into m and n as follows. And then we expand again and simplify. And we should get 2a minus 2b squared plus 4ac over a as our b tilde, which is the coefficient of cos of 2x. Now, uh, let's do a similar thing for C tilde, which, as you recall, is A tilde times 4M squared N squared minus 2M squared plus N squared. And here again, we want to add 2MN and then subtract a 2MN because this again will allow us to turn um, m squared plus n squared plus 2mn into m plus n all squared into a sum into a square of a sum and then we can subtract uh, double the product so we're ready for substitution and again um, let us recall that a tilde is the same as a because it doesn't um, depend on roots. And also since the, the equation is set to zero, we can just multiply through and it will all work out as you shall see. And we should find that C tilde is equal to 4AC minus 2B squared minus 4C plus A all squared all over A. And that's our A tilde and B tilde and C tilde there. Because the coefficients of Z are now all in terms of A, B and C per the requirement, we can put all of it into the equation A tilde Z squared plus B tilde Z plus C tilde is equal to zero. And also remember that Z is cos 2x to get our equation. And the equation is going to be a squared cos squared 2x plus 2a squared minus 2b squared plus 4ac cos 2x plus 4c squared minus 2b squared plus 4ac plus a squared is equal to zero. Now um, we did something else here which is to multiply everything by a so um, that that there aren't any fractions in the coefficients. So the leading, um, the coefficient of the leading term is a times a, and the coefficients are then b tilde times a and c tilde times a as the constant. And now we can substitute in the values. a is equal to four, b is equal to two, c is equal to minus one. And we can go back to our um, our t a tilde, b tilde, and c tilde, um, but we don't have to. We can also just substitute everything in straight into the equation. It's fine. a tilde is then 4. b tilde is equal to 2a squared, which will give us 32, minus 2b squared. b is 2, so that's 8, plus 4ac. That is going to be minus 16 over a, which is 4. Simplifying that gives us 2, and c tilde will give us 4c squared, which is going to be 4, minus 2b squared, which is minus 8, plus 4ac, which is going to be minus 16, plus a squared, which is plus, six, which is plus 16, and of course the minus and the plus 16 would cancel all over a, which is 4, and that'll give us minus 1. The function in terms of z, which is the function in terms of cos of 2x, because z is 2x, 
um, is going to be f uh, is going to be four z squared plus two z minus one is equal to zero. And the function in terms of y, where y is x, cosine of x is equal to zero, is going to be four y squared plus two y minus one is equal to zero. So that is our target equation, and that is our original equation. Let's see. 4y squared plus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is our original equation where y equals cos of x. Its roots are going to be using the quadratic formula, minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 16, all over 8. Um, this will simplify to minus 1 plus or minus plus or minus root 5 over over 4. Also, recalling the double angle formula, that identity that um, 2 cos squared of x minus 1 should equal to 2 cos of x. So 2y squared minus 1 should equal to z. Let's see whether this is true. 2 times minus 1 plus root 5 over 4. So let's do the positive branch first. M squared minus 1 is equal to, is equal to that. And and we simplify and we see that we see that this all boils down to minus 4 minus 4 root 5 over 4 which is equal to minus 1 minus 5 over 4 Sorry, over um, which is in fact is is the answer we're looking for. It's another root. When y is equal to minus one plus root five over four, we find that z is equal to minus one minus root five over four, and you'll find when you substitute y is equal to minus one minus root 5 over 4, you'll find that the corresponding z will be equal to minus 1 plus root 5 over 4. In other words, we have successfully found a quadratic equation in 2x. Thank you.